So here we are on the uh, roof of the Forest Resources building. This is an example of a green roof, which is a type of green infrastructure. Green infrastructure is the combination of an ecological and engineering solution to many urban problems. So many urban problems today are due to increasing um, changes in urban populations, as well as increasing challenges due to changes in climate um, and, and pressures on infrastructure. So one of the things that green infrastructure systems do is they mitigate many of these problems. Green roofs are an example of this because they reduce the heat load on buildings. Um, they end up being a place that is pleasant to be around at the same time, so there's an added value. And they also can reduce stormwater runoff off of the rooftops and into the, the sewer systems of State College. So they, they provide multiple benefits. Green infrastructure systems represent sustainability. They are environmentally sound, socially just, and economically feasible. So they represent those three um, angles of sustainability that we've been learning about. So one of the challenges in urban ecology is thinking about how to embed green infrastructure systems into a lived urban environment. Where we are right now is on Barnard Street. It's about a block from the uh, west end of campus. We're right between um, a Beaver Ave and, and College. And what we're looking at here is a bioswale system, which is meant to mitigate flooding. What happens is, if you look up on this end, this is where the, the rainwater will come in to this system. It then will carry on through a series of uh, ducks all the way down here. If you can look at the far end, there's a place where the water will come out and then it will empty into a storm drain. This particular type of green infrastructure system is meant to slow the infiltration rate of, of water, allow the water to percolate into the so soil and slow down flooding. Um, and right downstream of us, essentially, is the fire station. And so this particular site was identified as a location that could be used to mitigate flooding of the fire station. So it's used as a, a design element as well. You can see there's lots of uh, vegetation here that is xeric, which means it doesn't need a lot of water. It likes to grow in relatively dry conditions. So this site doesn't need a lot of maintenance, but for, it provides beauty to the community while o also providing an ecosystem service to the community, community by mitigating flooding. So it's a pretty typical bioswale green infrastructure system right here in downtown State College.